Hello guys, today we are going to create a little 3D character, so I'm going to show you the whole process from A to Z. So I'm going to use this brush and we're going to start creating the character. I start by simply making a ball to make its head and another one that I shape to make the face. We replicate an additional ball to create its ear. We attempt to position it accurately, it is an elf's ear. A ball for the belly and a cylinder for the torso. It's vital to use primitive shapes when starting to create the body structure. We proceed by incorporating basic shapes to gradually construct the proportions of the character's body in a step-by-step -step manner. Then we proceed to the feet, which I also handle in a very simple manner to get an idea of the size it should have. Next we gather all the items, make duplicates and create a mirror image for replication. We'll start by making the arms, shoulders, I'll wait to make the whole character before correcting proportions properly. Then we duplicate fingers to have approximate shape of hand. We make small ball to make thumb. Then we replicate and make an effort to create the phalanges accurately and precisely. I'm really not used to drawing full characters so I'm struggling a bit but it will come. The 3D base may seem odd but it'll be useful for me later. Then we create our small hat. I perform an extrusion directly from his head in order to create a hat that is directly positioned on his skull. Then I lay down the initial foundations of the face that will be used to create his ultimate face. Now we are going to refine the shapes a little bit and give them the closest possible appearance to what I want before doing the retopology. Then we add small folds to it, we curve its back, we create the little shoulders of the character. I am attempting to modify the size of the arms, the length and the muscles to the best of my ability, even if he lacks. We modify his face a little because it was a little too tense. I don't go into too much detail on the face in the sculpt because I'm going to do a retopology so I can have more control directly in retopo. We will now commence the retopology process for the pants. I will leave you with a brief aim nops to assist you in the task.
want to clarify that the retopology I'm doing on this character is not intended for animation at all. And the character will not be really suitable for animation. And it's normal because I will only need it in that position and just for some turns and renders.
we will move on to texturing. To accomplish this, I will employ Substance Painter 3D. The reason why this character is extremely terrified of his hands is because he is undergoing a transformation into a goblin creature, and thus we will need to paint a goblin skin that is significantly more porous and with nearly scales, and I will need to paint a bit the half of its transformation to demonstrate that it is gradually becoming one. And the most amusing thing will be to paint his face which is partially transformed by a vibrant and glossy green skin. In addition to his hands, for added convenience sometimes I paint directly on the canvas, which is even more practical in some cases than going around the model. Then I take a second glance at ZBrush because I have a preference for painting faces on it as I'm more accustomed to using it. Doing map, adding red on nose, lips, bridge of nose, cheeks to give it life, little bit of red on nose, on lips, on bridge of nose, on cheeks. And then we will export the map and import it back into Substance in order to be able to blend it with everything else. And since I forgot, we'll create a small base for him with a small pile of earth. So we return to Maya, grab a cylinder, scale it and ensure we have a small base like the amiibos. I'll add mesh to create an earthy effect, enhancing it with a lot of mesh to achieve a realistic look. And we are going back to substance in order to texture this. Then we will finally meet on Marmoset Toolbag 4, which will be utilized to render with light and textures and I will leave you with the final result of our work.
If you like this video, feel free to subscribe and give a thumbs up. Feel free to let me know in the comments if you liked it and see you in the next video. Bye.